most people in this village have lost everything. Yes, no! Within moments, landslides in the Yamukubi washed away their homes and buried their loved ones. To mourn properly, they say they must first recover their relatives' lifeless bodies. This water has swept away all of the houses and people have died. I've lost seven children and I've only recovered the body of one of them. We're still looking for the other six. Next door, a mother and three children died. We found our neighbour who died with her three children in her arms. Similar stories of loss and tragedy now echo across several villages. My whole family has disappeared. It was swept away by the waters. My neighbours are also gone. So far, hundreds of bodies have been recovered after landslides and floods hit the area of South Kivu. Villagers are working side by side with rescue teams to try and recover more. Among the victims are many children. The situation is a very catastrophic and many, many houses have been destroyed. We are facing challenges, and some challenges are uh, uh, about logistics, you know, transporting those materials to there because the road are cut off some areas, so there is no really the way of reaching from Bukavu. But there is a second way, which is the lake. We are using the uh, Lake Kivu. We are hiring boats to transport. <laughs> Armed groups are active in this region. Crises like these are further hampering the delivery of aid, including medical supplies, to those in need. We're facing a lot of difficulties with their care. There's not enough medicine, and medical essentials, gloves, syringes, compresses. It's a reminder to everyone when disaster strikes, those who can must help. Each day brings more grim discoveries. Several families must now start their lives again, having lost much that can never be replaced. Katia Lopez Odoyan, Al Jazeera.